With the reclining seat assembly folded, turn it over so that the underside of the seat is facing up. Take and position each frame beam so that the holes along the narrow edge are lined up with the holes on the underside of the seat. The larger set of holes located on the beam should be facing upward and the four holes on the wide side should face towards the center of the seat. Secure the beam to the underside of the seat using two of the frame screws and tighten using the Allen wrench. Then repeat with the opposite frame beam. Turn the seat assembly onto its side and fit a wooden dowel into the smaller center hole on the end of each frame beam. Next, turn the armrest frame over and align the center holes to the inside of the frame with the inserted wooden dowels. Make sure the rounded end of the armrest is facing toward the back of the seat and that the larger holes on the legs are facing up. Fit the armrest frame onto the wooden dowels. Insert four frame nuts into the holes on the inside face of the frame beams located next to the armrest frame. The grooved end of the frame nut should be facing out. Now, align the groove so that it's parallel with the frame beam. Fit a frame screw into the hole located on the outside of the armrest. With a flathead screwdriver, stabilize the frame nut and use an Allen wrench to tighten the screw. Make sure the groove on the nut remains parallel with the beam. Repeat this on the opposite armrest frame for the other side of the chair. Stand the chair upright and lift the recline handle. Then pull up on the back of the chair to unfold. Release the recline handle and keep pulling until the back of the chair locks into place. If needed, refasten the Velcro on the lower back of the seat. Next, Attach the optional back and headrest pads using the zipper and Velcro fasteners. Then, you'll connect the power cable cord to the cord located on the side of the seat. Plug into a standard 100 volt outlet. Now, to assemble the footstool, Set one stool frame on its side with the four holes facing up. Fit a wooden dowel into a smaller upper hole on each side. Next, you'll fit a stool beam down onto each dowel into the smaller hole located at the end of each beam. The holes located on the long side of each beam should be facing inward towards the center of the stool. Fit another wooden dowel into the smaller hole facing up from the unattached end of each stool beam. Then, fit the other stool frame down onto the stool beams and insert the wooden dowels into the smaller holes. The large screw holes located on the opposite side should be facing up. Stand the connect frame up on its four legs and fit a frame nut into the hole on the inside of the stool. Make sure the groove is facing out and parallel with the top of the frame. Stabilize the frame nut with a flathead screwdriver and tighten the frame screw using the Allen wrench. Now, place the padded footrest face down and flip the assembled stool frame over 
so that the four legs are pointed upwards and the screw holes on the frame align with the holes on the footrest. Secure the stool frame to the footrest pad using the four surface screws. Press the power button to turn on the chair and adjust settings as desired. And there you go. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. For more information and other great products, visit us at vivehealth.com.